Does mindfulness work for borderline personality disorder? Well, that's exactly the question that we're gonna be answering in this video, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another mental health book review. I just finished this amazing book and it's called Mindfulness for Borderline Personality Disorder. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So this is was an amazing book and it was written by, hold on one second, I gotta look at their names, um, Blaze Aguirre, I think I said that right, and Jillian Galen. So the simple answer to the question is Yes, mindfulness does help with borderline personality disorder. So don't leave yet, don't leave yet, because we need to talk about it. <laughs> but that's one of the things that fascinated me about this book, because as I started to learn about the symptoms of borderline personality disorder, like, I was like, man, I bet mindfulness can help with this. Mindfulness helps with BPD and it's proven by science. So here are three facts, okay? BPD is a mental illness that largely has to do with dysregulated emotions. Fact number two, emotions Emotional regulation is a responsibility of the prefrontal cortex in the brain. Fact number three, numerous studies show that mindfulness actually helps to strengthen the prefrontal cortex. Wait, what? What's that noise? Do you, do you guys hear that? Yes, that's right, everybody. This is your quick, tough love moment. You're not unique. This is science. Respect the evidence, all right? The reason why I say this is because I know, I know for a fact I'm gonna get a ton of comments with things like, no, Chris, you don't understand. Mindfulness can't help me, I already tried that. No, it is scientifically proven. And one of my new favorite sayings is, respect the evidence, okay? So if you know somebody who struggles with BPD or you think this video might help somebody as I continue to talk about how mindfulness actually helps, please, please, please make sure that you share this video with them, okay? So one of the things I loved about this book is throughout the book, it does an excellent job incorporating a lot of different stories from real people who struggle with BPD and their successes when it comes to using mindfulness to overcome their BPD. Also remember, if you check out my other book review I did on BPD, technically you are cured of BPD if you have five or less of the nine overall symptoms of BPD. So if you can work on fixing each one of these symptoms individually, you will live a much better life even though you've been diagnosed with BPD. So mindfulness is the core practice of something called DBT, which is also known as dialectical behavioral therapy, all right? So throughout this book, it gives you a multitude of practices that you can start using to begin working on your various symptoms of BPD. So here are just a few, just a few of the practices that are laid out in this this book that you can start practicing right away. Worried thoughts versus factual thoughts, judgments, toxic behaviors, urges and impulses, dealing with toxic family members, fear of abandonment, disassociation, and suicidal thoughts, as well as many, many more. In the future, I will be doing more videos um, outlining some of these practices and I'll kind of walk you through them. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you do. Because even if you're watching this video by chance and you do not struggle with BPD, all of those various symptoms that I listed, a lot of you struggle with those. Like, for example, dealing with toxic family members. We all got some of those, right? Urges and impulses. Fear of abandonment, okay? You don't need BPD to be someone who struggles with fear of abandonment. And this book has practices that lay out how you can start working with these fears. I get quite a few messages from loyal subscribers like you or people who follow me on Instagram who tell me, they're like, Chris, I can relate to the suicidal thoughts that you've talked about. Like, how do you deal with them? How do you make them stop? So I think it's very important that I make some videos on different practices to deal and cope with these suicidal thoughts so they don't turn into action. When it comes to overcoming BPD, like I said, this book lays down a bunch of practices that you can start doing, but 
this is the core practice of something called dialectical behavioral therapy. Whenever practicing mindfulness or even more of a formal meditation, it's good to have somebody guiding you along to know that you're doing it right. I'm available as much as possible, but I'm not an expert when it comes to DBT. Um, I teach meditation, but I'm not, you know, like a certified meditation teacher. So if you're somebody who's struggling with these symptoms and you think that dialectical behavioral therapy might help you, please, please, please check out the description below because like I've mentioned before, BetterHelp, which is like the best online therapy app, they actually help support this channel. So there is an affiliate link down there and they have licensed therapists who specialize in dialectical behavioral therapy and they'll be able to answer whatever questions you have. They'll be able to give you very specific practices and things like that. It's, it's a very simple process, all right? And the best part about BetterHelp is too, is that it's extremely affordable they work on a sliding scale. For some people, I've heard the payments being as low as like $25 a month, depending on how much money you make. So like, when we talk about like having a willingness to get better, like how important is your mental health and are you willing to invest in it? You know what I mean? Like, remember, suffering equals pain times resistance. There's nothing wrong with asking for help, okay? But I will also have a link to this book down below. If you want to attempt to try this stuff and start working on this stuff on your own, by all means, go for it. And you you all know that I'm pretty active in the comments down below. So if you have questions or anything like that about any practices that you find in this book, feel free to ask me and I'll do my best to answer. But I'll also be honest with you and let you know if this is something that is completely out of my realm, all right? But anyways again again if you know somebody who struggles with borderline personality disorder they feel stuck they feel hopeless they want to change but they don't know how please share this video with them because like i said this is an excellent book there's links to therapy there is hope never lose hope no matter what your mental illness is okay so Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you are new here, make sure you click that little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. And if you wanna check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap right there, all right? So thanks again for watching. Practice some mindfulness today and get your emotions under control, and I'll see you next time.